Do you know how to find out what your jot form limits are and when you've hit them? Well, let me show you how. Hey, JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and as you can see, I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard, and we're gonna be covering how to find out what your JotForm account's limits are and what happens when you meet them. So for this example, we're gonna be utilizing a free account, so make sure you follow along to see where to go and what your account limits are. So I'm gonna head up into the top right-hand corner. I'm gonna click on my avatar. We're gonna to head to settings. Then over on the left-hand side of the screen, we're gonna choose usage. Now, again, this is on a free account, so make sure you jump to yours to compare and see what your account limits are. Now, you can see that mine is broken up into two different sections. At the top, we have my monthly usage. Now, these are gonna reset depending on when you started your subscription. So as you can see for me, I started my subscription on the 15th, so every 15th, all of my limits are gonna start back over. So at the top, under monthly usage, we have submissions, signed documents, payment submissions, and form views. So let's kind of dive into each one a little bit more. So with the submission, this is when a form entry has been successfully submitted. So if for any reason someone hits submit and it doesn't go through, that's not going to count as a submission. Next up, we have signed documents. And on the free account, you can have up to 10 signed documents a month. Now, keep in mind, if you have a form where you need multiple signatures, it's not going to count until all the signatures are complete. Next up is payment submissions. Now, this is going to be any form that has any type of payment gateway attached to it, and the payments are valid and completed. Now, last up on our monthly usage is going to be form views. On the free count, you have 1,000 form views, and this is anytime your form is loaded. Now, if you embed your forms on a website, this does include any time a viewer looks at your website and that form populates. So if you have a very active site, keep that in mind. Now, let's jump down to total usage. Now, unlike our monthly usage, the total usage does not reset. So it's going to need to be managed manually. And we'll get into what that looks like. So as you can see, first up, we have the number of forms. And on our free account, you can have five forms. And you can see here that I have two of my five forms already used. So I'm getting into the yellow. And something else to be aware of is this is the number of active forms you have on your account. If you have any questions about how to enable or to disable a form, definitely check out our help article. Next up is our submission storage. Now on the free account, JotForm is going to hold 500 submissions for me. Now, what this means is once I go over 500, if I get 501 submissions, JotForm is going to start deleting the oldest submission. So in this case, submission number one. So if you want to keep your data, make sure you either upgrade to have more space or download your submission data. And last up is upload a storage. So on the free account, we have 100 megabytes of storage space. So if any of your forms require your user to upload maybe a picture or a PDF or any type of document, you have 100 megabytes of storage space. Now for this one, in order to free up space, you're going to want to go back to any of those forms that have any type of uploads on them and delete and purge them from your system. Now, when you have hit a limit, JotForm is going to send you an email to let you know that you have hit your limit and it will suggest to upgrade your account. Now, there's actually some ways that you can increase some of your quotas. If you look over on the left-hand side of your screen, right underneath usage, it's called increase limits. Now, there's some activities that you can do to increase, again, some of your quotas. So, for example, if you invite your friends, you get 10 extra submissions a month. If you review us on a website, you get 10 submissions a month. You get 25 submissions a month if you shoot a video, just like this one about JotForm. And you get 50 submissions if you publish a blog post. Now that was adding submissions. If you want to increase your form limit, definitely refer your friends and family to JotForm. For every person that you refer, you get an extra Form. But it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about understanding your limits and your usage with JotForm, let us know down below in the comments. If you liked this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.